What's going on, everybody? I appreciate those of you hanging out, waiting for the stream. Greatly appreciate you guys, as always. For those of you watching replay, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and enable YouTube notifications so you'll be alerted when I do these streams and you can take part in the chat. Chop it up with us, you know? So uh, not my favorite day of the year. Today makes 20 years since my dad passed. So, uh, yeah, May 24th, always my least favorite day of the year. Actually kind of hurt my hand hitting the bag pretty damn hard earlier. Sometimes you just need to hit something, you know what I mean? But uh wanted to talk to you guys, you know. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a stream today. I set it up last night and, uh, you know, kind of occupy my mind from sadder times. I like to talk fragrances with you guys. It's always fun. But we start things off as we always do in honor of the situation. The last fragrance my dad had ever purchased me. Not this specific bottle, but Aspen Discovery, the long discontinued barbershop fragrance. This is a flanker to the famed Aspen, the green bottle. Does not smell like green Irish tweed. Smells more in line with your typical arom spicy aromatic barbershop fougere fragrances. Have four sprays on right now. We're going to dinner tonight. It's going to last four, maybe five hours. Um, then I'm going to be taking a shower after this anyways, because we're going to dinner tonight anyhow. But, uh, you know, nothing super special. It's been done to death. I have a few bottles of this. There was a time when you can get them for like eight or ten dollars from Fragrance Net for these three quarter ounce bottles. And I bought like three or four of them. I have a few of them just for nostalgia purposes. Like I said, uh, my dad used to get me a fragrance every year for Christmas. That was a thing annually for years and years. And uh, the Christmas before his passing, because he passed in May, obviously. Uh, two years in a row, he had got me this because I loved it the first time. So the next year, he had got me another bottle. So uh, very sentimental fragrance for me with Aspen Discovery. So let's see what everybody. Sorry to be a downer, guys. It's just it's an important day for me, you know. Let's uh, let's see what's what with everybody. Oh, I got behind quick. Hidden gems, what's going on? Kellen, good to see you. Chris, good to see you. Adrian, which of these new fragrances are you most interested in? Uh, definitely most curious about Aquamedia Cologne Forte. And for those of you who didn't know, it's a bunch of samples from the plug, an unaverage Joe, the man, the myth. And then, I mean, he sent me more than that, but these are the main four I want to focus on today. Pretty excited about ocean leather. I didn't even know this existed for memo aquatic leather. I'm assuming based off the name, but this, this is the thing I'm most excited about. We're going to start with that one. Let me get caught up with you guys. Kenneth Cole, blue or you should wear whatever you feel like wearing, my man. What's going on, Joel? Okay. So happy I finally got Versace, man. In my class, I saw your post on Facebook, man. I'm kind of jealous. I've never smelled it. I've always wanted to try it. Let's see. Hope is all well despite the day. I can't complain. It's just it's a sad day. Hit the bag a little too hard, though. I got some new uh, some new Muay Thai gloves for those of you that follow me on Instagram and uh. Kind of hurt the bone right here, warming up. It was literally when I was warming up, I wasn't even hitting anything that hard, but kind of powered through it, gave it a minute, let it numb up a little bit, and I started hitting the bag. It was cardio day. It's my active rest day. That's the days I hit the bag, usually twice every eight days. I still wanted to get my work in on the bag, so still did. Might pay for that later, but uh, yeah, it's, it's now the adrenaline's down and the blood flow's settled down. It kind of hurts a bit. <laughs> Good thing I'm left-handed. What's going on, Randy? Appreciate you. My condolences. Thank you very much. Control, good to see Aqua de Palma Blue Mediterranean. Arancia de Capri. De, de Capri, excuse me. But that's awesome. That's a great fragrance. I just got that one myself. Great stuff. Signature Citrine, nice and fresh. Me too. I'll tell my church too also. I appreciate that. Thank you. Shout out to the legend. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate you, my man. Smooth Operator Rockin' Atlantis by Blue Atlas. That's some good stuff. Doesn't deserve some of the flack it gets from the trolls. It's good fragrance. Appreciate you, Sean. Aspen was my first one. I still have a bottle of Aspen. Aspen. It's it's basically an even greener take on green Irish tweed. And for Ten bucks, you can get a four ounce bottle. But this is something a little different. This is more about aromatics and spices than there's no greens. It's literally lavender, citruses, woody notes, and spices. So or spicy notes, I believe, is the note breakdown. Something that simplistic. Like I said, been done to death. Nothing spectacular. Uh, long discontinued. It's been off the market for, couldn't even tell you, at least 15 years. It's, it's been a long time. Glad to have it, though, for nostalgic sake. Just bergamot. I must be very nostalgic. Very much so. Rest in peace. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you. Isimiyaki Blue. 
Uh, I actually did a full review on it if you want to check it out. It's uh, it's basically, it's in the vein of the blue fragrances like Blue de Chanel and stuff, but it, the notes are different. A lot of peach and apricot at the top. The florals in it are very soapy and a little powdery. They're not super flowery. They're more soapy florals and a lot of clean musk. That's the thing that kind of dominates it is a clean musk smell. Always good to remember good times. Absolutely. Joel Hit Jim. Send today. Protolome Intense. Good, but overrated. Ooh. Oh. Sorry to hear that, man. I love that fragrance. It's a great fragrance. Appreciate you, Eric. Good evening. Send of the day. Coach for men. About to work out. Clean and train, probably just YSLY82. I appreciate you, man. Hope you have a good workout. Prod alone, excellent choice. Dior Sport 21. My bottle is literally still right here. I haven't picked them up yet, which for those of you, I'm surprised Kyler is not here hyping it up. Giveaway is going to be Saturday. That's uh, for the all-star and above tier. We'll be entered for that for the first spin. Second spin is a 9 a.m. dive. <clears throat> So anyway, finally got that. I, I saw again, I saw your post. You got some good stuff in today. Great to see you as well. Dedrick, what's going on? Sending po positive energy and positive vibes your way. I appreciate that. Why well, I said I'm assuming why EDT excited to get that Coco Loco. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Morsk Sahara Blue. Is that the one that smells like a Ventus? That beautiful blue bottle? I know Justin has it. I think that's I think it's that one. Shea Bomb, speaking of green Irish tweed. Okay, Blue de Chanel, Ted Lapidus, old bottle, potent. I dabbed this one on. Club Dinui Milestone. That's good. So I haven't worn that in a long time. Except the likes as usual. Uh, yeah, we got less than half. We got 90 viewers currently and only 42 likes. I'm glad you brought that up, Drew. <laughs> if you guys don't mind, hit that thumbs up for me. We're going to hang out for about an hour. We're about to get started here in just a moment. I'm getting caught up with you guys. By the 10 minute mark, we'll dive into Aqua Media Cologne Forte. The first one. So let's see. Milestone. Spice Bomb Fresh. That's that's technically my favorite, too. The reason I don't talk about it because it's not easy to get for a decent price. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I appreciate that. You know, thanks. We got these two fragrances from Trenton. So the one I like the most is uh, Carnal Desire. That one, look, Ocean Sunset's good and everything, but Carnal Desire is tasty. It's a delicious fragrance. She was dad, my dad passed two months ago yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that, man. And you're only 15. I was 18 when mine passed. It's rough, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Seriously, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Doesn't get easier. Just could be honest with you. It doesn't get easier. It's been 20 years. Same thing. Bond number nine. I love New York. Light blue forever. Loving the content. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Oh, my my favorite uh, postal worker checking in. Best smelling postal worker checking in today. I'm rocking Sadly. Excellent choice. Also, I've Aspen. Aspen's good stuff. Bria, good to see you. Buddy of mine has a decant of the new MFA com MFK coming in. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. <laughs> It's nice. It's nice. Uh, I would say Siage is a little better. Even though the quality is not as good, I think Siage is a little bit better of a fragrance, believe it or not. Thank you, sir. Same bottle like Cool Water does. Yeah, it's similar shape. It is a similar shape. Uh, I've never even tried that, so no, I'm not sure. Sauvage is overrated. Okay. Good to see you, Daz. Glad you're here in the emotional time with us. Ash brings people together in a good way. I agree. Get some time wearing. Uh, I haven't. I haven't spent any time with it. I've been wearing a lot of blue fragrances this week. Other than that, I'm wearing. I'm wearing some niche stuff this week. That I've been wanting to wear. Yeah, it's definitely never easy. So let's uh, let's skip through a few of these. Cool water today. These little blue. I can confirm it's fantastic. I agree. I love that stuff. Something different. And there's two different boxes too. Five different cap colors, two different boxes. Spice bomb again. Stop asking that, Adrian. That's obvious. I ignored you the first time for a reason. I accidentally clicked on you this time. Rock and Percival. Okay. Glad to have my dad with me, as you should be. Appreciate him if you still got him. Those type of memories. Good family gone. Yeah, for sure. Got you live. All right. So let's jump into this one. Um, scroll to the bottom. There we go. That's a good spot. So. Aquamedia Cologne Forte. Let's read the, the card, shall we? 
Evoking both water and light, green in the, is the middle color of the rainbow prism and reflects balance and motion. It's embodied with the vibrant freshness of Aquamedia Cologne Forte featuring bergamot from Calabria, verbania, sweet fennel, and a matcha tea woody musk accord. Well, okay then. So that's what's to be expected of it. Shout outs again to Joe once again for sending this my way. Good atomizer. They use good scent. Definitely juicy bergamot. Ooh, very vibrant and bright. Very fresh. Very, very fresh. Very green. Citrusy, but green. Mouth watering, though. It's literally making my mouth water. It's zesty. The bergamot here is not bitter. It's very zest. I don't know why I would hide it. Joel, for some reason, I had to approve your hit the likes with the thumbs up emoji. That's kind of weird. YouTube's weird sometimes. I like this. I could see some giving this one a hard time because it's not unique. This is not a unique aroma, I have to say. It smells like it's been done a lot. For the money, it's probably not going to be worth it. It smells great, though. But it makes me think of the kind of fresh citrus of like an Aqua de Parma fragrance, for example. This is definitely juicier, and it feels a little bit richer because I'm sure the oil concentration is higher. I'm sure it's at least an eau de parfum. Yeah, it's an eau de parfum. So it has a little bit, it's a little bit deeper and richer, but I don't know. It smells really good, but I can just see people giving this one flat because it's not the most original aroma. It smells great. It absolutely smells great. But if you're looking for super unique or a new take on a freshie, you're looking at the wrong fragrance. Such a juicy citrus. That verbania is giving a little bit of a lemony feel. Probably adding to that grassy green effect that I'm getting. It's almost a little minty. It's so fresh. But still zesty. I like it quite a bit. Quite a bit. Now, I don't think it's going to be worth what retail's commanding. I'm sure it's 200 and some odd dollars for the 70 ml. I'm pretty confident in that statement. Whatever the Cologne Forte flankers are going for, but I mean, it smells great. Bottle looks cool too. In line with the others, the Cologne Forte flankers. This is really good. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I wouldn't like to have a bottle. Very juicy citrus, and it doesn't seem like it's going to kill over anytime soon. So let me, let's go ahead and pull up Parfumo, see what their note breakdown is showing. Let me do a screen share real quick. All right, let's see. There we go. Calabrian bergamot, fennel, hedion, matcha, which is tea, musk, and Vervain. Okay, I'm assuming that's like a Vervania note, maybe. I don't know. But look how good that bottle looks. Very, very nice. So no other information outside of that, but the color of the bottle is very fitting here. It's definitely a very green citrus dominant fragrance. Um, it's not super unique, though. I got to say. Definitely not super unique. Smells great. I could just see it getting so much flack for being, I guess, generic is going to be the term that a lot of people throw at it. It's unfortunate because it's a very good fragrance. You know? Scroll down a little bit. What's going on, Dwight? Good to see you, man. Rollins or Styles? I'd like to see AJ get the belt, honestly. I have a feeling it'll be Rollins, but that's kind of the story they've been telling that it's going to be Rollins, but I'd like a curveball and it'd be AJ. Uh, I don't know. Eventually. It's not uh, something I need to have right now with warm weather coming, so I'm not in a rush to get it. I mean, it's warm weather. It's not. I'm, that's that's a heavy-looking, uh, heavy darker 
kind of somewhat darker fragrance from based on the notes. I mean, I'll come across and I'll come across it, but I'm not like actively like got to have it right now kind of thing. Girl at work was wearing unisex scent today. It smells great and masculine too. Bois Imperial, that's great. Yes, I do. I do. It's it's kind of like a more wearable version of Ganymede. Signature to back. Steven, good to see you. I can make it back from time for the live. Glad you're here. Wearing Ajmal pure, Purely Orient Cashmere Wood reminds me of Diorum Original, Valentino 110 and Purple Suede mixed into one. I would buy it for the bottle. Well, it's definitely going to be pricey. You got to keep that in mind. Decant of Aqua Celestia Forte on the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is my favorite. That is a freshie that's worth it. I really like that one. I blind bought that one. <laughs> I love it, too. Got to say, all the slight variations to their naming conventions and flankers is crazy, but anywhere close to GFS. What's GFS? A gentle Fluidity Silver? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't really know. I don't have that much experience. I don't really have any experience with Gentle Fluidity Silver, so I really don't know. This is settling into a more herbaceously fresh green tone. Citrus isn't going away, but it's kind of, instead of just being dominated by juicy citrus, it's kind of balancing out a little bit more. Love it, though. Loving it. Uh, so I have them all in. They're all here. Ood Mineral came in yesterday. Uh, probably going to do that in the next day or two. I think I'm going to just film a video instead of doing a live stream. I think I'm going to just do a video. So if I do a live stream, it's going to be long because it's like seven or eight fragrances. So I'll probably do a video, whereas the video, it'll be long for a video, but if I do a live stream, it's going to be like an hour and a half plus, and uh, definitely going to hurt the replay value <laughs> if I do it in the live stream. This smells great. It definitely smells great. Versace Mano Fresh near 100 degrees by me, so this is perfect. Volcanus, the Super Chat King, I appreciate you as always, $10 Super Chat, wearing At the Barbers from Margiela. That's my favorite barbershop fragrance. In my opinion, it can't be topped. I don't think anybody's done it better quality the scent profile the nuance to it the performance is slightly you know average slightly above average it's not overwhelming it's classy it's masculine it's quality it's great thank you so much for the super chat my man just ordered hawass because of your video that's good stuff good afternoon fine folks molinard feig there's a good one okay you're choosing between beach hut man and 40 knots uh probably 40 knots for me for my taste i like beach hut man but i like 40 knots more Sorry, I meant this you know, Aquamedia anywhere close to Aqua Celestia Forte. Somewhat, but that's more lime and mint pedigree. Like it's it's still citrus and green, but it's a different citrus and green. Redundancy, sure, because the style, but the aromas aren't exactly the same, but it's still green and citrus, just different green and citrus. This is more about the citrus than that. That's more about the mint leaf and the pedigree. This is more about the citrus. I'm definitely, I would definitely go for this. I like this a lot. I could definitely go for this. For sure. Rob, good to see you. At the Barbers is fire. I agree. If you can buy any one fragrance, money not being the issue, what would it be? Uh, I mean, I pretty much buy everything I want all the time. So that's not a good, it's not a good question because I, I buy shit that I want all the time. Uh, probably this, probably this. I, I think I'd like to get a bottle of this. Yeah, I could see myself really getting some use out of this one. Aquamedia Cologne Forte, I like it. I definitely like it. On the way, good deal. Finally made it to a live this week, sitting here at my desk working, wearing Cloud of Musk from Dua, 10-4. Yeah, no doubt. Dylan Blue's good. You'll be happy with it. Yeah, I, I think so, too. Oob Mineral is excellent. I wore Wet Stone last week. Similar vibe. So I haven't tried either. So and I, Wet Stone is very popular for Mama Rude. It's just one of the ones I have not tried. Is the matcha note similar to, in any manner, to any other fragrance off the top of your head? It doesn't, like, it not. there isn't one specific fragrance that rings a bell, but it doesn't smell all that original. You know, it's definitely... Smells like a scent profile has been done a few times, you know, but I like it. I'd be interested in getting a bottle with this one. I'm going to spend a little more time with the sample. I mean, hell, look at Costa Azura Parfum. Look at how much of that I went through. That's why I have a bottle now. I just randomly spray it on my arm all the time. 
and I've, I've knocked down that 10 ml. So yeah, greatly. I just randomly spray stuff on my arm literally every day. So let's go with Pasha de Cartier edition noir. Here we go. Got a sample here. Another one, once again, for those of you who didn't know, an on average Joe hooked me up with these samples. Very, very nice of him. So don't know the notes on this one. Seems like the same exact decant here as far as atomizer and bottle and everything. So, yep, sprays exactly the same too. So a little spicy and sweet. So these are the same. MFK and Cartier use the same samples, sample vials. That's surprising. A little bit of bubble gum at the top. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming, guys. Spicy undertone. Not like heat. Not warm and spicy, but spicy. It's kind of got like a sage feel to it. I don't know if that's the notes. I have no idea what the notes are. I've, I've looked at it once before, but I don't remember the notes at all. It smells really good, though. This is much more of a blue fragrance than I would have ever guessed. I feel like it's 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 amber wood. I feel like it in my core. I could be wrong though. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Woody, spicy, fresh, citrus, sweet, cedar, green notes, citrus notes, amber. And that's it. Uh, that amber is an amber wood. It's an amber wood note. No doubt about it. This reminds me of a little bit of Eros Parfum. It's kind of the, a similar aroma, not the same, but I kind of get a little bit of that. The woody, ambery tone with the light sweetness. It reminds me a bit of Eros Parfum. Again, not the same, but in the same vein, that's for sure. Similar. So definitely not saying Eros Parfum. Eh. Ties in a little bit but to the original, but I wouldn't sit here and say it's strongly related to the DNA. I like it, though. Oh, the toilet. Definitely very woody. It's an amber wood note. That amber that they're showing right here, that is an amber wood note. Very much. It's kind of an amber wood bomb, but it doesn't smell super synthetic. There's that spicy undertone I was talking about. It's second ranked accord, so I'm not surprised to see that. Who's texting me while I'm live? Joe. <laughs> Jesus, Joe. Different bottle. Need the Cartier with the all black cap. Okay. Yeah, because it uh, it doesn't make any sense for the notes outside of some amber wood. That makes sense. Oh, it doesn't even have that one. Yeah, that was a 2013 release. My bad. So, yeah, it still smells like a bunch of amber wood, though. I wonder why it's not showing here. Let's go to eye fragrance. Smells like sage and amber wood. A little bit of spice. It's pretty much what I get from it here. Oh, look, they already did an article on Coco Loco. So, for those of you that haven't seen the bottle, there you go. That is a Photoshopped image. Beautiful, right? All right. Let's see if we can find it right here. Oh. Why in the world? Let's go to new fragrances from here. Maybe it'll be a little easier to find. You know, eye fragrance, a search bar would be just fan-fucking-tastic here. And just like that, you are forcing me 
to go to this shithole eye fragrance. I'm blaming you. There it is. No. Uh, it's not the same. It does not smell like that. It does not smell smoky to me. I disagree. If this is it, absolute noir, no. Because this is addition noir. This is not the same fragrance. So, yeah. Yeah, this is addition noir. It smells more like uh, what I was just looking at over here. It smells more like this. Joe, you sure you meant to send me that one, but sent this instead? Because this, this is this. Absolutely smells like this. All of that <laughs> is what this smells like. And uh, it's not Absolute Noir, the new release. Yeah. See? It's not the new one. So, smells good, though. Never smelled it before. Definitely smells like an Amberwood bomb to me. Let's scroll down a bit. 270, 235 for a 70 mil. There's a 35 mil, so he's talking about Aquamedia. 10-4. Yeah. Oh, ahead. Triple G in the building. Peace, Ross, and everyone in the chat. I appreciate you, my man. Callie's Groom Room's in the house. What's going on? I really like Cartier fragrances. I have to put my nose to it. Yeah, this isn't this isn't abs uh, noir absolute. This is edition noir. No, it's definitely not, Joe. <laughs> it's definitely not. You might have meant to send me that one. That's not what you sent, though. Also, you tried Aquasin Blue Man. I've never even heard of that. I've never even heard of that. I'll catch up on the back end. Should have been blackout. Whoops, if I didn't. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I know your intentions were great, but I've never smelled this one either. So it's fine. Definitely smells like an amberwood bomb, though. It's nice. It's very much a blue fragrance. It reminds me of blue fragrances. Yeah, this is definitely addition noir. So, while we're still in the shithole, powdery, woody, spicy, fresh, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. That's a bit different of a note breakdown. I don't. I get a little bit of a floral tone. Well, I haven't smelled all of these to know exactly, but I get a little bit of Eros Parfum from it. I definitely get some Eros Parfum. But yeah, Joe, it's uh, just one more time. It's definitely Edition Noir, and this is definitely not a smoky fragrance. No. Uh, smells really good, though. I would put it more of an evening appropriate blue. It's kind of how I would look at it. So on that note, let's move on to ocean leather. Here we go for memo. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. It's like the one I'm second most excited about. So let's take a look. Shall we? Mandarin oil, basil essence, elemy essence, sage absolute. So it's going to be very blue. Nutmeg, violet, vetiver essence, cedar essence, leather accord. Obviously, it's got to have some leather, right? It's one of the leather flankers. So, all right. So let's go right here. Some good atomizers. They're using uh, using some good atomizers here, I have to say. Ocean leather from Memo. It's like a spiced aquatic. A little oceanic, but it's quite spicy in the top. It's a supple animalic tone. The leather doesn't dominate, but the leather cord is clear and decisive. Very much there. It's kind of like a spicy aquatic. What are the notes again? Mandarin oil, basil essence. Well, there you go. There's some spice. Elemy, sage, nutmeg. There's more spice. So nothing aquatic about the notes, but it has a little bit of an oceanic feel. This is the most interesting of the three that I've smelled so far. Absolutely. The others are what they were through going forward. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm 
think if it reminds me of anything. Nothing's coming to mind specifically. It's more about spices and it's getting a little woodsy. I get a little bit of an animalic tone from this leather. Just curious and get rid of that shit all. I mean, I know they have the notes right there. I'm just just curious. From memos from 2020, fresh, aquatic, leathery, spicy green. I agree with all of that. I get more of a woody tone, though, than it's listing. I wonder how they're creating this aquatic feel. I mean, it's not even violet leaf. It's supposedly a violet note. Elemy fruit. Okay, never heard of that. This is a little sweet, I have to say. I really like this one. Aquamedia is super nice, don't get me wrong, but this, this is stunning. I like this. This is more my taste. It's a spiced aquatic is basically how it comes across with a little bit of leather. It's not overrun with the leather. Maybe in the dry down it'll be dominated by the leather cord, but this one speaks to me. I'd like to get a bottle of this one. This is the best one in the, in the group for sure. I don't think Tigar is going to top it either. Because I'm familiar with the scent profile. I just haven't smelled the original. I'm sure it's going to be the best of the bunch. But as far as Tigar scent profiles, I'm sure Tigar is the best one. But this is the one I'm going to need a bottle of. I knew you'd like it. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I really like it, Joe. Good call. Good call. Good to see you, Boz. So he died till he by Mancera. It's 100 outside. Oof. Hot as hell. At least you're wearing a really nice fragrance. Ocean leather stunning. Yeah, I want a bottle of this one. This is a must-buy for me. Yep. And within the next few weeks, because I play, there's more that I plan on getting, and that's going to be one of them. Been wearing light blue O intense for women, and to me, it's the best out of either line. That's fair. That's fair. I'm waiting for the summer to start throwing that one in the rotation. But of the haul that that came in, that was my favorite. It was the one I gave a 9 out of 10. Love it. Good to see you, sir. So one more. Tigar. I've never tried it. Finally going to try it. It would be great if it would focus. There we go. Joe also sent me Bulgari's Tigar. So obviously grapefruit, spices, Woody notes, amber, all that good stuff. I mean, I'm familiar with the scent profile. Just, I've never smelled the original. I smelled a bunch of the clones, literally even yesterday, the Rubroco one. And I, I'm a fan of Tarathi Blue. I've never smelled Black Panther from Alexandria, but I'm pretty eager to see how the real deal is. I know Juan's a gigantic fan. I believe this is his favorite fragrance. Wow, the original is so much better than the clones. So much better. So, so, so much better. The quality, the richness, the spice is deep, but not overdone. That's a believable grapefruit. This is so much better than all the clones. The clones don't compare. This is so much better than the clones. Man, wow. Okay. Um, shit. Ocean leather was, I still want ocean leather, but I might have to get Tigar. I didn't think it'd be just light years better than the clones. It's light years better than the, the clones. Can't fuck with the original. They can't. I'm sorry. I like Tarathi Blue. I like Rubroka. I, I, I like them. They can't touch the original. The quality is a night and day difference. The depth is a massive difference, too. It's such a deep smell. For being a simple aroma, it's deep. Yeah. Uh, Versace Mano Fresh specifically. Or Armoff Aura Fresh. It'd be one of those. I agree. I agree with it being as good as most people say. Uh, that's one I, I've had a carded sample, a little box sample. They come in a box like this. Um. Clifton had sent it to me a couple of years ago. It's really good. I just never got around to getting a bottle. It does smell like Tarathi Blue, but not. it's way better than Tarathi Blue. 
Yeah, Tarathi Blue, it it gets close in the profile, but the quality and the depth are completely different. Completely different. And I usually give Afnan pretty good some credit for using pretty good quality. It doesn't compare. It is incomparable. Definitely not. There goes your answer, Joel. Yeah, for sure. Dunhill's whole signature line is excellent. Agarwood and Egyptian smoke are my faves. I bet those would be good. I feel like I got to save up. Another. It's, it's worth sampling. I'm so glad Joe sent me a sample. I've been meaning to get my nose on it. Shit, it's good. Yeah, okay, look, Ocean Leather is phenomenal. This is even better. I need a bottle of this and Ocean Leather. That's going to be pricey, but I'm going to get a bottle of both. I'm going to go out on a limb without having smelled it and say that it doesn't touch the quality and the depth because I'm super familiar with Alexandria. I've got a ton of their stuff. I'm going to, I'm willing to bet <laughs> that it's not as good as the real deal. I'm willing to bet. Name your price because it's just our opinions anyway. Nobody's going to win, but still. Amorous Om X Straight Tigar is an absolute masterpiece. I agree. Like a broken record when I talk about it. Best woody grapefruit I've ever smelled. This opening is on par with of the greatest of all time. I put it up there with Elysium Parfum for best opening, the way the citrus comes across. Because Elysium Parfum Pour Homme, the clear bottle with the gold plate, the most expensive one, the best of the three, in my opinion. That's one of the best openings I've ever smelled. This is up there with that. This is one of the best openings I've ever smelled, for sure. I've never tried craze. No, no, they can't. And, and look, you guys have heard me say it before. You're not going to get the magic out of the clones that you get out of the originals. You're just not. You're just, you're just not. It's not going to be the same experience. You can get close. But it's not going to be the same. I haven't tried anything from Frank Olivier, actually. I still get bug spray from Tarathi Blue. Really? I never got a bug spray kind of smell from it absolutely loving the collection the only ones i have is british leather and the lavender one black panther's fire i've heard great things about it but now that i've smelled the real deal screw the clones i need the real deal hell yeah it's way better i had the same impression when i got oud satin mood very oh yeah yeah oud satin mood <laughs> it's not even close um I've been through two decants of the eau de parfum and i still have a decant of the extrait that i haven't gone completely through one day, I like the EDP more. One day, I'm going to get a 70 ml of Oud Satin Mood Eau Parfum. Old Man Sarah atomizers are the current ones. Oh, the, the new ones are way better atomizers. They're pressurized. Yeah, way better. Not as good, but damn close. Yep. Fair. That's a fair statement. I agree with that. Ocean Leather Tester at Aura 115. No cap, though. I'm, I'm Got to have cap. Got to have cap. I'm going to buy a full presentation. No, no, I've heard it's similar, basically identical. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard it's similar. Pandora's Aqua de Dora smells like Tigar, and I like Aqua de Dora, 10-4. Noxos is really good, but I didn't like it when I first smelled. Give it a few years, and you'll, <laughs> give it a few wears, my bad, and you'll love it. Uh, getting sold quick on Tigar. I'm sold quick on Tigar. Now I see why Juan likes it so much. Shout out to Juan. This is phenomenal. It's simple. But it's phenomenal. It's one of the most simplistic aromas I think I've ever smelled. Like, I, I would believe a four or five note breakdown for this fragrance. I would believe it. It's simple, but it's just done right. It's, it's right. And the raw materials used are clearly of the best available because it smells, it smells pricey. And I'm, I know it's pricey. It smells pricey. Don't see my light blue forever. I'm broke. LOL. I mean, you can try. It's not going to get the same quality. You're not going to get the quality. That's the thing. You're not going to match the quality by layering other things. No, definitely not outdated. Timeless. 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 Time. Modern day timeless is how I would look at it. Uh, Dunhill Icon I don't have. Uh, so I don't have Noir. I got to change that title. And everything because he sent me edition noir i didn't realize it till i opened it and smelled it this is the 2013 release so it's not the new one but that's okay well i got noxos clone it's amazing sure the real things but yeah the real thing's always better 
ten four. Icons great for the money. Same with icons. Do you layer? I do not. I do not. Icon grapefruit and oud. Joy said he likes to layer Tigar with the clone so he doesn't burn through the bottle. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's kind of like what I said about this. You have the real deal. Spray that to start the day, and then if you don't get the best performance out of Elysium Parfum Cologne, refresh with this one to extend the life of the expensive bottle because Elysium Parfum Cologne is better than this. But this is really good. It's a great refresher. It's a great affordable depiction. I'm still a fan of this one. I love it. But yeah, it's kind of the same thing. I, I, I say spray Parfum Cologne first and then refresh later in the day with that one. So it's good to hear it. That boy fragrance has got like seven bottles. Well, that's a bummer. You're going to like I, It's smoky from what I've seen with the notes because we looked it up a minute ago. And I'm sure I will like it. I'm sure it looks like something I'll like. Smoke, woods, and caramel. It's probably phenomenal. Um, I got to say, this is basically an amberwood bomb, kind of like an evening blue fragrance. So I do like Edition Noir. Just wasn't, uh, I didn't really look at everything. It was just Joe intended to send me the new one. And, you know, no shame to him. He sent me a bunch of cool stuff. But Tigar, shit, man. This is a 9.5 out of 10 kind of fragrance. It's phenomenal. It's it's one of the best openings I've ever smelled. Bar none. Yeah, I'm going to need a bottle of Tigar. And then Ocean Leather's phenomenal. <sighs> That's my kind of jam. It's woodsy. It's a little dry, soft, animalic tone to the leather. But it's got this aquatic feel with spice. It's like a spiced aquatic with no aquatic notes. It's weird. Good weird, though. I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting bottles of these. I'm getting bottles of these. It's crazy. Because if I can find a decent price, I don't want to pay retail for this. When I can get it from a discounter, I'll get this one from a discounter. These I can already get at discounters. But three out of the four, like I'm good on this. I don't need that too redundant to like Eros Parfum kind of thing. But the, all three of these are bottle worthy for me. Now, some people are going to hate on this one because it's not the most original thing. But if you want like quality, quality citrus fragrances, this we had a good question earlier about is it redundant to Aqua Celestia Forte, my favorite from the house. Um, that's also a green citrus fragrance. This is a green citrus fragrance, but they're not the same green citrus fragrances. That's the two main accords. Very green, very citrus dominant. This that's more pedigree mint leaf with lime as a supporting player. This is more about the bergamot than the verbena and the fennel kind of take hold to balance it out after a little while. But this is super just ju juicy citrus. It is so good. All three of these are bottle worthy. I'm buying bottles all it's gonna be expensive as shit. Even at discounters, it's gonna be expensive as shit. But at some point, I'm gonna get all three of these. Tigar, I'm getting first. I'm getting Tigar first. My God, Tigar is good. Apparently, I made Justin angry by asking him if he tried any Argos fragrance because he said, <laughs> yeah, he's been talking about them for years. <laughs> for years. I'm sure Tro Grant could compare Tigar with Afternoon Swim. You smell it? No, I haven't tried it. I've heard good, great things about it, though. In-house perfumer for LV, so curious on your thoughts. I haven't tried it. I'd like. I, I need to get a discovery set. And explore the house because outside of ombre nomad i haven't tried any of them outside of that one i tried it at louis vuitton it smelled glorious when i walked in there and i was like that is that what i think it is that i asked of it she's like oh yeah that's that's what was sprayed would you like to try it absolutely she sprayed it on my hand and it was obnoxious it was so powerful and potent that i had to scrub it off about an hour later <laughs> quality smells great but it got obnoxious it was too strong one spray on my hand so that was quite the experience. I'd like to smell Afternoon Swim and Imagination and, and fragrances like that. So I'm going to need to get a discovery set at some point. And maybe we'll do a live stream like this and just kind of go through them and get my thoughts. Ooh, that's a good one. Not easy to find. Really like it. Version for me. Yeah, it's it's incredible. That's tough. Because I'm really vibing with French Riviera right now. Really, really like that one. I'm going to wear So Blue tomorrow. Basically an aquatic rose, citrus and aquatic rose fragrance. Um, I had to just tell you one, I'd say intense cidraboise, you know? Um, but it's hard not to say the original cidraboise. Something, that, I mean, it's just such a great spot to start for the house. It's the most popular for a reason. 
Yeah, he's done in a bunch of them. <laughs> he's, he's talked about them a lot. <clears throat> oh, that's strong too, which is good. My current phrase on the strong side, I guess, is skin chemistry. Yeah, teach their own. We think about BDK tobacco rose. Been a while since I've smelled it. I used to have a decan of it. Really cold most of the year from the sample. I'm thinking buying it 200 and make it signature. So it's a very robust, thick, and earthy jammy rose. This is a jammy rose, very thick and earthy tobacco smell. Uh, nice and warm. And it's extremely potent. It's been a while since I've smelled it. I have a decan of it somewhere around here that I've only sprayed like twice. Um it didn't make me want a bottle. That's why I haven't revisited it. Normally, if I keep going back to a decant, it, it's growing on me, which, like, I didn't think Costa Azura Parfum was the greatest thing. I was like, ah, oh, the EDP is better. Well, it's grown on me. I like it more than the EDP now. Look how much of that <laughs> I've sprayed. I have a bottle of both. I just haven't opened them yet. But, yeah, that one, it was really good, but it wasn't like, damn, you need to buy this, you know? Maybe one day that'll change, but where I'm at right now, it's just, eh, I didn't need to add it. There's other things I'd rather get more. Winter, red tobacco, better essential lemon lime. Boy, you're digging those, huh? Those spicy fragrances like me and harm harm uh, Harmonist Hypnotizing is a must-have. Black Rock, what are they called? I've never even heard of those. Justin's a gentleman, respect. He still answered me as politely as he could. <laughs> he gets frustrated, but he can compose himself. He's not like me where I'll rattle off with people. I'm, I'm blunt with people, you know. Uh, I would think that's why a lot of you like me, because I'm so blunt and straightforward, you know. Some people can't stand me for it. I don't care. Fuck them, you know. But uh, let's see, 47 minutes, 152 people. I appreciate you guys. we still got a pretty good crowd. 109 likes, nothing to complain about there. You guys got any more questions while we're hanging out? We'll hang out for do an hour. You know, I got through what I wanted to get through. Um, do have a few others that he sent me, but eh, we'll just we'll just chop it up. Me, you and, me and you guys, we'll just chop it up about whatever. It doesn't have to be me sniffing anything. All of these were really good. I want a bottle of all of them. It's just disappointing that I know Aquamedia Cologne Forte. I know it's going to get flack, especially from niche snobs. Like MFK enthusiasts in general are probably going to give it some shit because they're just going to be bored by a freshie, basically. But it's a really good freshie. I really like it. It's getting a little watery. Still super fresh and green. Spring in a bottle. Springtime in a bottle. I really like it. I really like it. Uh, I ha the only ones I have bottles of are bondnumber9.com and Bleecker Street. I've never got around to getting bottles of anything else. You'd love the LV Freshies. My missus got me a 10 ml discovery set last Christmas. Cost her a fortune, yeah. Orage, Imagination, so the route, Afternoon Swim, New York are incredible. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to get my nose on them at some point. I think you missed my comment. What was your comment, Affy? Because I have to jump around sometimes. I'm scrolling back, scrolling back. I'll just retype it. I'm not going to keep scrolling back about low mole team. Yeah, I didn't see anything about low mole team. Just retype it while we're at the bottom because I'm caught up right now. So just type it again real quick. Need another niche summer fragrance recommendation. Last one, Wulong Cha. Yes, I like it a lot more, especially the second time I wore it. It's phenomenal. Um, how do you feel about creamy florals and citrus? Because I'm vibing with French Riviera right now from Mancera. I'm really vibing with that one. Uh, the tire flower dominates the heart, though. It's not like feminine flowery, but it's like a creamy floral with a soft powdery tone. Very watery. Um, it's very elegant. I wore it a couple of days ago. I'm really vibing with Mancera French Riviera. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, niche snobs are the worst. Hey, there's there's cheapy snobs. There's, there's designer snobs. It, it's It's... Every segment's got their share of people that turn their nose up. Like the cheapy ones are the word. Like I think EQ talked about it recently, how the cheapy squad, they turn their nose up at the niche more than the niche turn their nose up at the cheapies. It's, it's, I just enjoy fragrance of all prices. You know, I just enjoy fragrance in general. I have a passion and a love for it. Um, so I don't turn my nose up at something like this and this. 
paid eight dollars for this you know what i mean and this is like a 40 dollars event woody event is clone great woody event is clone but i also enjoy stuff like these quite a bit and these are these get flat because they're niche freshies so they're not the strongest fragrances you know i just if it smells good it smells good that's how i look at it is the tiger family if you try them okay some of my favorite freshies uh so i've done a bunch of those videos definitely check out some of my newest content i've done a bunch of summer videos recently literally as far back as yesterday uh definitely check out some of the new content vintage neat yeah that's that's its own segment for sure yeah thought you were going live at three pacific so i was going to go at four mountain time um then i moved it to 3.30, and then I still you know, I was just sitting here, so I did it at 3.15, Mountain Time, and just went live. I'm hanging out for a few more minutes. The inside is fantastic. Some claim it's a niche version of Tommy. Who claims that? Because Tommy is not dominated by citrus like that fragrance is. Tommy's very green, a little bitter. Um, Fougere's Marine from Montal is basically a, a more aquatic niche Tommy. That is niche Tommy. What... What jokers saying that? Please drop names because I'm very curious. On I don't agree at all. I'm very curious. <clears throat> Thoughts on Lomo team just picked up one wonder. So it's it's very underrated. It's one of the best versions of Lomo ever come out. So you still get the core that gingery feel of Lomo with this dry, dusty rose note, very sensual and kind of intoxicating in many ways, very alluring to ladies. My wife loves the way it smells. Grace loves the way it smells with Justin. I've witnessed how Grace feels about that when we were doing a video like two years ago. So uh, two of the ladies that matter in my life, big fans of that fragrance. So uh, yeah, Lomo team, great. There's a reason there was a ton of hype and people were sad when it got discontinued. How do people send you things this review? Uh, no, I don't have a P.O. box. That's my address, and I don't just give my address out to anybody. No offense, Control. Joe's a personal friend of mine. I know Joe, Joe very, very well. I've spent a lot of time with Joe. Joe's always we're on share streams all the time. We talk privately on the phone. Joe's a personal friend of mine, so that's that's why Joe has my address. You know, no offense, I don't just give my address to anybody. Tigar is the same, same perfumer. I don't find they're exactly the same, but I could see how close they are for sure. Uh, at least based on the clones I have, I, I'd like to try the original. I want to try LV's original because uh, I've only tried clones. I like Mancera's a lot. Me too. Me too. Quite a bit. I agree. Who cares where the frag came from? It's the juice inside that counts. You know, obviously some things smell cheaper than others. Some things smell of luxury and high-end and expensive and it's all about the raw materials used and but i appreciate every from end to end of that spectrum and everything in between i'm him nish gabor snob okay 10-4 just not seeing a big deal in vintage stuff but that's me i mean they mostly smell the same a lot of them do i mean this is technically vintage this is over 20 years old it's a cheaper vintage but it's it's of the same vein of a lot of that stuff it's a barbershop-esque aromatic fougere of the the 90s style theme even though because this came out in like 2000 and it was already gone by like 04 or something like that i think it came out in 2000 maybe 99 it was already gone by that point i like it but i have it for a very specific reason it's for a moment in time you know just got coach green in the mail today and made my sin of the day so far i think it's really good seven out of ten i still haven't gotten my package from fragrance net i'm very disappointed in them I'm <laughs> very disappointed. Uh, it got rerouted. It was supposed to be come in yesterday. So today it's supposed to come in. Hopefully it's in my mailbox. I didn't go check the mail yet. So I'm going to go check it after this. It's raining outside. So. Pacific Rock Moss from Goldfield and Banks is a great summer niche. I agree. Been a while since I've smelled it, though. No Yuzu Mancera love. Love the content. That's too sweet. I think it's too sweet for high heat. Fabulous Yuzu is really good. It's just too much vanilla. Too much vanilla for the hot. I would want that more in the evenings in summer. It's too much vanilla, I think, for daytime, just hot as shit outside. I smell the same, Harry. I, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I, I get the similarity just based off of the clone. Like I said, I haven't smelled the original Louis Vuitton. Oh, Tiger 
was so good, though. Jesus, it's good. What places do you go for decants? It's expensive out here in Nice Blonde. But uh, I highly recommend fatboyfragrance.com. I also use Decant House. Um, that's pretty much the only two, <laughs> you know. Um, that's the main two I would recommend. Fatboyfragrance.com and Decant House. Well, I was wondering thoughts on loan. Okay, there you go. Haven't found the hood vintage, boss. Hood? I, I think he meant good. He meant good vintage. <clears throat> Sound like something I can vibe with. Looking in Torino 21. I'd like to try that one too. Might try French Riviera. But that passed 15 years ago. Time doesn't heal all wounds. He wore Polo Safari. Excellent. Actually, recently just came across 100 ml. Had to pick it up. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, my man. Yeah, definitely. It's 20 years for me today. Um, he used to wear Eternity and Obsession. That was his two favorites. He was like this Calvin Klein fragrances, which I don't even like Eternity. I like all the flankers more. I don't even like Eternity. I have a bottle just because of him. I don't wear Eternity ADT. It just doesn't do it for me. But Eternity Cologne, newest one I got, loving it. Loving it. Eternity EDP, love it. That's the only two that really smell like it, though. The uh, the others don't smell like Eternity. Might sound out there, but I actually get some vibes of Jeremy's office when I smell them inside. Or is that just me? Could be. Could be. Like really old vintage. Late again. That's okay, Greg. Good to see you. No problem. I get it. I appreciate that control. Summer Day is based in video. Really like the freshness. Yeah, it's really good. The kumquat note kind of separates it. Yeah, it's all about the gin. And, and Lomo team, you keep that base DNA that he's showing right here, mainly the ginger, and add this dry rose. It's beautiful. Serge off Neo. Good gosh, this stuff is addicted. Like a sour citrusy green Irish tweed. Here, legacy. Let's see what's going on. Fragrance fraternity, center of the day, Starwalker Extreme. If you had to pick one for an evening out, what you going with? Ego Stratus or Wave Musk? Ooh, probably Wave Musk. It's a little more complex. It's a little more complex. It's still salt, salty and aquatic, beautiful citrus, but it's grassy green, very breezy. Whereas Ego Stratus is a blueberry aquatic, but not too sweet. And also, it's, I want to say, a little more synthetic and not as strong. I would pick, I would like Ego Stratus more for daytime wear. Same thing with Wave Musk. I really don't think either of them are that good for evening out. I, I really wouldn't pick either. <laughs> but if I got to pick one, it would, it would be Wave Musk for evenings out because it's a little bit more complex. Not a complex fragrance, but comparatively between the two, it's the more complex of the two. Kind of a toss-up because I just started wearing French Riviera. It's hard to dethrone Soli Ditilli right now for me, but I think I do like the core of the fragrance a little more. So it's up there. It's up there because I like my florals. And you're not, you don't have a bunch of florals in Soli Ditilli. It's more of a breezy, citrus, watery fragrance, whereas you get more of that soft, creamy, white floral tone with French Riviera. I think I'm kind of leaning towards French Riviera here really been enjoying it. Like I said, I've really been, really speaks to me. It's my style. For, both are my style. But between the two, I think I'm leaning to French Riviera. It's, it's up there. It's definitely up there. I have not. Fragrance net shipping has been horrendous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Spencer, what's going on? Wearing BR540 x straight. Some niche decants. If you're interested, I have way too many frags to not share. I appreciate the offer, Dylan. Uh, but I'm, I got, I'm so backed up on stuff right now. It's unbelievable, man. Memorial Day sale. Okay, noted. Not I can't stand you, Boom. It's a synthetic mess. I like all the flankers more. I don't like you, Boom. I just have a bottle. Maybe it was great in its heyday, but modern formulas is just like a synthetic mess to me. I don't care for it. It's like I said, I just have it. I like the Le Parfum. I like you, Boom Absolute. I like, um, why am I drawing a blank? You, Boom Ice. I mean, just insert name of flanker here, and I like it more than the original. Arabian Oud, Arabian Night Silver. Weird today. So for him, Red Edition. Flashy name here. Legacy is really good. Absolutely. Still want Oceania in 1819. Yeah, Burlington 1819, man. I don't know which to get first. Uh, the most interesting is Burlington 1819. The most easy to wear is Oceania. And the one that's the best of everything is Isola Blue. 
Hope that helps. The best of everything is the solo blue. The most interesting, the most complex, the most intriguing, the most enthusiast level of the group is Burlington 1819. And then the most easygoing, hot summer's day is Oceania. Got his fragrance as he wore <clears throat> Lamal and CK1. Slow shipping, definite party break for sure. So we're about to shut down here a second now. I'm at the bottom. Fougere Royale. I have not tried. I have not gotten around to that one. And then last but not least is Steven. Mahir Legacy is amazing, like amazing, amazing in his opinion. So I appreciate all of you coming to hang out with me. Three of the four are bottle worthy for me, guys. I'm not saying it's going to be next week I have bottles of them, especially not the way these companies ship, right? Um, when Aquamedia Clone Forte gets the discounters and I feel it's worthy of whatever price I'm seeing, I'm going to jump on that. But I'm going to actively seek out Tigar soon, like within the next week or two. I'm going to get a bottle of Tigar. And then I'm going to keep an eye. I'm going to start pricing uh, Ocean Leather. I might get them together. But Tigar and Ocean Leather are going to be not immediate, but very, very soon additions to this collection. And then Aqua Media Clone Forte, eventually. It'll be eventually. I really like all three. <sighs> yeah. Tigar is the best of the three. Uh, make sure to like this stream before you guys leave. Check out today's video if you haven't yet. Subscribe and turn on all notifications if you're not. If those of you watching that can't chat yet because you haven't subscribed for at least two weeks, go ahead and subscribe. Get it out of the way. You're watching anyway, right? And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.